Hi Scorpio, it's Elle. I hope everybody is doing well. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Before we get into it, guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to be notified every time I do post a new video. Like, comment, share, show your love and support. As always, please keep it positive. If you would like a personal reading, that information will be in the description box below. How to reach me, how to make a payment. I do accept Venmo and Cash App. Um, Please send me an email with your questions. That information is also in the description box below. Uh, I can't send you back a reading if I don't have your email address, so please don't forget that. Um, these are free readings, so any donations are much appreciated. I am doing the Sunday through Sunday giveaway. If you'd like to make a donation, I'll pick a name on Sunday and you will receive, excuse me, retrograde speech, um, a free reading, free 15 minute reading, okay? So it gives you a little incentive to donate. I also have included in the description box my GoFundMe link. That's just there if anybody would like to check it out and contribute to. Um, I have an upcoming surgery I have to prepare for. Um, after already kind of going through some challenging times in my life, right? Sometimes it feels like it's never ending, but it's such as life, right? So we'll make it through it. Um, that is there if you would like to, all right? I just saw the balance card, right? So divinely protected, but being guided to stay balanced, right? So let's get into it, Scorpio family. Let's see what's going on. Scorpios for the Scorpio Collective, spirit, angels, ancestors, guides, please help me provide Scorpio, sun, moon, rising with any messages you would like for them to receive. Also protect us with your white light of protection through the tarot. Archangel Michael, please block any negative energy being sent our way. Send it back into the universe and to nothingness, amen. I'm not even going to look at this yet, okay? We've got to change for the better, okay? This is going to be our overall energy since it just shot out when we start the tarot. Um, with the butterfly, this is all about transformation. So there's something changing, okay? You could be going through some type of a change right now, but this is a change for the better. We've got ladder, climbing towards success, right? So this is the energy of... Whatever you're doing, Scorpio, you are going to be climbing towards success. This is going to be a change for the better. Money will be coming to you with the coins. All right. All right. This is the second time in one day that this has come out. Somebody's about to get paid. I don't know what this is. All right. But there is some type of money coming to you. This is going to be a change for the better. There's climbing towards success here. All right. What other messages do we have for Scorpio? Two more came out, so we'll take them. The most difficult part of a situation is now over, Scorpio. And then we've got dissatisfied with life, cracked up. Okay, so this is for somebody who's been going through some shit too, right? This is gonna be a change for the better. The difficult part of a situation is now over. If you've been broke, not anymore, okay? We've got the energy of climbing towards success. Whatever direction that you're going in, moving in now, you will be successful. Please don't forget that, especially if you're feeling cracked up and dissatisfied with life right now, okay? Some of you are full of regret. Please, I know it's hard. I can get it in that energy any time of the day too sometimes, and you have to really learn to rewire your brain and not think like that, not stay lost in it, not stay stuck in it. You can't change the past. The only thing you can do is change the future. All right, honesty. I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can expect it from myself, okay? So there needs to be honest, you need, it's time to, whatever this change is, it's gonna be a change for the better. Better. <laughs> I cannot talk today. I swear to God, retrograde kicks my, my speech's butt every time. Um, all right, so you need to be honest with yourself. There's something, it's time to be honest with yourself. With all this purple energy too, that's definitely third eye energy, right? Um, trusting your intuition things. It's like time to be honest with yourself, even in that regard. Have you been ignoring your intuition in a situation? There's a change for the better. There's a difficult, whatever's been hard, the hardest part is already over. Purpose. I know what I'm here to do, okay? Okay. Whoever I'm talking to has a powerful purpose, okay? You know what you're here to do, and it might even have to do with your intuition, okay? You could be another reader. You could be another healer, okay? There's something here. You have a divine purpose, a healer in some way, shape, or form, okay? Or you have a purpose that's powerful. Self-esteem. 
I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Exactly. I'm talking to a healer. Okay. And you need, to, this is, this is about, you know, understanding who you are. Um, owning who you are. Whatever changes that you're making, understanding that you're changing them for the better. Better. I cannot say better today. What is going on? I keep wanting to say better. <laughs> I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. Self-esteem, right? Understanding. You know what you're here to do. You're here to be benefit you and others. There's a change that's going to be for the better for you, okay? And it's coming into this purpose, understanding what it is that you're here to do. Overall energy, Okay, somebody's leaving a third party situation. No wonder you're cracked up, right? So there's been some type of a third party energy, whether it was a partnership here, whether it was a third party energy, or whether this was, you know, interfering energies just in general, it is here. It's caused heartbreak. All right, so let's see what's going on. What messages we, ooh, do we have for Scorpio? I'm gonna have to keep this one short, but I will be back, okay? Um, I'm gonna do some more readings. I've got a personal reading to do, and then I'm gonna try to get some more readings tonight out when I have time. Maybe a couple more. I'm back in the morning, but um, I gotta get dinner made and all that. Okay, what other messages do we have? The strength card. All right, Scorpio. This isn't going to be easy, right? But you, this is a change for the better. Understand that the hardest part, though, even though it might not feel like it's easy, um, is over. Okay, we're climbing towards success now. Hold on a second, guys. that open for a second and I need to close it back. Whew. Okay. What messages do we have for Scorpio? You know what's crazy is if there has been a third party situation, right? Whatever this has been, it's all going to basically be now about life experience moving forward. Um, all right. Um, learning when it's time to stand your ground, right? Learning. Um, When there's a need to make a decision to practice that self-discipline, right? And not to let something just kind of, again, because we did have intuitive energy, trusting your intuition, not trusting your intuition, allowing yourself to be heartbroken in the situation, okay? Because, and maybe that's why I saw that regret card, right? It's like, oh, damn it. You know, now I regret not listening to my intuition or if I just, you know, it's, you got to release that, okay? Um This life experience, okay, there, there's definitely been some type of a powerful revelation that's leading to change, okay? Um, this has been, again, the number 16 could be significant for some reason. This could be the date. Something could have happened on the 16th. Somebody could have been born on the 16th. We've got the 11th or number 11, 16, and 5, all right? So, but this is in regards to some a significant life event. Whatever this is, this is actually something that is going to bring you life experience it is changing your life it leads to change but positive change this is a change for the better this is pushing you to climb towards success excuse me um 
a lot of you, um, somebody could be starting some type of a spiritual organization or involvement with some type of a spiritual organization, understanding here we've got somebody that's a gifted healer, understanding what your purpose is, seeking out like-minded individual friends, um, bringing you together with a group of like-minded individuals, energies here. Um, this has been a life-changing event for you, but there's purpose behind it. Um, it's time to stand your ground. And for some of you that, you know, maybe you could have been in a connection where somebody tried to smother your beliefs or make you feel like you were stupid or whatever, right? And if it's not a connection, it could just be interfering energies with maybe even this, your life purpose, your beliefs, your th maybe it's a family member or a friend or somebody, oh, that you're crazy or whatever this is. There is energy here for somebody. It's like you need to choose your battles wisely, protect your energy, okay? If they're interfering energies with what it is you're trying to do, um, a change for the better, it could be a release. A change for the better could just simply be understanding how to protect your energy more. But there is the energy here of needing to dis defend your decisions as well. So again, what was that? Pretty sure that was not at my house. Okay. Um, maybe it was the neighbors, but it was a loud crash. Protect your energy, choose your battles wisely. If there has been some type of interfering energy, with that loud crash, I'm gonna take that as a sign. It could be. Needing to, um, I feel like I have to go look y'all. Oh my gosh, hold on. <laughs> hold on one second. Let me make sure it is in my house. I don't think it is where, where I live. Hold on one second. make sure. <laughs> okay. All right. Side note. We're good. We're back. Okay. Hope everybody got a sip of water, did what you had to do. Okay. Bathroom break. What was I saying? We're talking about defending your energy, defending yourself, protecting your energy, um, choosing your battles wisely. I do advise that without loud crashing noise. I do feel like it's also kind of protect your energy, choose your battles wisely. Don't get involved in chaos drama that's unnecessary. You know, understand when, okay, I'm making changes for the better. You're done with the difficult, you know, don't get involved in a situation where you've already made it past the difficult part of the situation, right? Um, now you're now in the energy moving forward of healing and moving, climbing towards success. Okay, so no backstep in here is what we're, we're basically saying, or there could be a crash, right? <laughs> so, um, yeah, because somebody isn't going to be telling the truth in regards to something because the King of Wands wanted to come out in reverse. So usually upright, that's somebody that's very full of integrity, you know, um, blocking focus, blocking some type of focus. And it's this energy of like not being able to protect your energy is some type of creative block for somebody, especially with somebody, it could be a fire sign energy, Aries Leo Sag, that's somebody who is deceptive. Interesting. All right, what other messages do we have in regards to this reading? We've got a celebration. Um, 
with the three of cups, you know, a celebratory energy coming together with friends. Um, really needing to have more fun. We do have this unity energy too. So I do feel like it's kind of, you know, a spirit saying, you know, there needs to be a little bit more fun back in your life, whether it's, you know, even if you don't want to get out, you know, go hang out with some friends or go a good friend, do something, whatever it is that you like to get out and do for fun. Okay. Six of Pentacles energy. Some of you, I got this in the last reading. Somebody's going to be giving you someone a gift here or some type of like, you're going to be able to pay off something where it's like you've had trouble paying for something or paying off a debt. You're receiving a loan or a gift. Um, this could be from a friend. Two of Swords. Here's this indecisive energy. Some of you might be wondering if you should take this or not. Six of Cups. This is somebody from your past. Six of Cups could be a water sign. Doesn't necessarily have to be. Um, Scorpio energy. Good news, though. So I'm feeling like, you know, I, I feel like this person's coming in with good intentions. The Page of Pentacles can also be a loyal friend, okay? A good friend. So whoever this is, this person doesn't have bad intentions, okay? I feel like whatever you've been through, you might be a little kind of like, eh, I don't know if I can trust anyone anymore, but this person does not, okay? Is the message that I'm getting. Um, Why do we have this two of swords though? Something involving Aries energy, Archangel Michael. The number four, eight of cups. Looks like somebody who has been indecisive in regards to an Aries will be walking away. Whether this is you or somebody in regards to you, I don't know, but it is showing up in this reading for some reason. I don't know, my head just went like two different places. So I know we were talking about one thing and then we got that message. All right, so again, whatever you're coming out of, some type of heartbreak, there will be basically change, but change for the better moving forward. Okay, this is going to, to basically require some type of help, self-discipline, whether it's the knowledge of the third party situation come out. Some of you could even be contacted by a third party situation or this has already gone down. This is the energy of regret. This is why, you know, it's it's a lesson, okay? Um, it's a spiritual lesson. This is a life experience, right? That is going to a significant life change, right? This is that make or break energy, right? So it's it's the transformation. You're a Scorpio, right? So this is that that energy that shifts you into that new energy of, all right, now it's time to rebuild completely. Now it's time to reinvent myself completely, right? And for a lot of you, it is this spiritual path for some of you or a lot of you, whoever this resonate, resonates with, it is kind of being guided more into a life filled with purpose, healing others, helping heal others or some type of energy involving healing work, okay? Um, now, I said starting some type of organization or something like that. This could be of somebody coming in to either connect with you to do that, um, offering you some type of a loan. I wonder if we heard a crash. That was loud, like a car crash. I bet you it was a car crash. My heart just dropped. It's Cinco de Mayo, y'all. Y'all be careful. Um, okay. People are out drinking and driving.
there's a change in plans, delay. Somebody could actually be, my heart just dropped and stopped. And a change in plans because of some type of an accident here. But this is a change for the better. Somebody, you could have been involved in some type of a third party situation here. This person makes erratic decisions with a page of swords. Something could be happening where whatever this energy was, it's like uh, they don't think before they do stuff here. Okay. Somebody could be, it could even be like karma, right? Some type of an accident or something like that. Wow. Okay. Stepping out of that. <laughs> Um, we've got the King of Cups here. What other messages do we have? Scorpio, I feel like that's you stepping into a more emotionally stable energy in, or in your masculine energy if you are a feminine, right? Coming out of this cracked up energy to this is a change for the better. Something could be heartbreaking, but this is going to be a change for the better. Where right, final outcome, uh, best advice, and then I'm gonna end this reading and I'll be back, guys. I gotta get dinner made. Um, it's already a little late. I did work today though, too. So um moving to calmer waters, okay. Things are looking up for you. This is the end of a difficult situation. This is it. This is all Again, this has come out twice now. Okay, the end of a situation, the worst part of a situation is over. The end of a difficult situation. Okay, um, and for some of you, if you are in a third party situation, you're really stepping into this new you, which is leading you to the Knight of Cups, which no, it's not, you know, um, the Hierophant or the Four of Wands or the Ten of pentacles but this is like i like you more than a casual connection right i see an opportunity to connect i feel some feels for you i want to this is the energy of puppy love of falling in love right could be with a younger water sign this is somebody that's it doesn't necessarily have to be but that's just the energy of the card with the knight of cups um you could be invited out on a date some type of romantic energy or just some type of a social event to hang out. But there's this energy of connecting and falling in love here. All right, Scorpio. So I'm going to leave it there. <laughs> After I've had a heart attack in your reading, not really, but just, <sighs> I was like, oh my gosh, what's going on out there? All right. I love you guys. Be safe. I'll be back later. I hope this message was helpful for someone. Until next time, lots of love and light. Bye.